Hello again, this is Andrew from DPS, and I want to address a pretty common question that we get a lot. It's how do I send a contact closure over Ethernet? So let's talk about what those things are first. So a contact closure is going to come from some piece of equipment. And if you imagine just two little electrical contact points here, and electrically speaking, a contact closure we draw on something like that. It's effectively a drawbridge for electricity. It's a relay. You either are allowing flow, or if it's like this, it's, it's broken. So that little piece can either be open or closed. And that determines something. It's going to indicate a yes or a no, or an on or an off condition. And there are a huge number of these. It could be a door sensor that breaks the circuit when it opens. It could be a piece of equipment that latches a relay to say something's gone wrong. It could be almost anything. But the question is, that's a simple electrical continuity. How in the world can I send that out over Ethernet or LAN? Because these, <laughs> this is a gap you just can't bridge instantly. You need something. So what that is is a device, and they come in varying shapes and sizes. But we call it an RTU, a remote telemetry unit or a remote terminal unit. And really, I chuckled a little bit when I saw this question because that is exactly the job of an RTU. I hadn't really articulated it in those words, but it's taking our contact closures and then sending them up over Ethernet. So what happens first? You have something called a discrete input. Commonly, RTUs might have 2, 4, 8, 32, 64, 80, or even, even more than 100. You can have a lot of different counts of these, but you just have an equal number of electrical pairs. So if we had our first discrete input on this RTU, it might be here. So we'll call that, uh, how about D1 for discrete one. What we're going to do is send a very small electrical charge across a wire there, and then we're going to wire this back, and we're looking to see, do we see anything? If we do, if we do have continuity, we know that that relay must be closed. If we don't, we know that it's open. So you'll have normally open or normally closed relays. You need to set it up accordingly, but effectively you either see it open or close. You'll see it change, and you know something about what's going on with whatever this piece of gear is. So once the RTU knows that, now this thing is LAN capable. It has usually an RJ45 connector to hook into a standard Ethernet system. So that's going to go up here. And in what form is that? There are many different options. You have lots of different protocols. You can talk in terms of SNMP is a very common one. You could have DNP3, many different protocols. You can also do things like send email messages. So you have a great many options when it comes to taking a contact closure. That's what these are. And then sending it up over your LAN or Ethernet. So I hope this was helpful for you in giving you a basic introduction to taking contact closures and putting them onto Ethernet. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this one. And until next time, I wish you excellent network reliability. <music>